Hello everybody, how are you? I trust God that you are doing well wherever you see yourself or wherever you find yourself. I'm also doing very well. Um, welcome to my channel. Thank you for making the time to watch. All right, so in today's video, I I just want to go over some um, the steady plan that I made for myself and it helped me tremendously now before i go on do well to subscribe okay comment and let's share it so we can build this new community nursing journey together so i just want to share um the way i studied that it helped me to pass my exams i strongly believe that um if you are also practice it is going to help you okay if you are going to practice it is going to help you tremendously um you can look in the video description for all the resources that i used and the links that i share okay um and if you also want to email me as well you can reach out um i don't mind uh, making time on whatsapp or chat on regular text message or by voice i don't mind talking maybe you have confusion about something we can discuss we can talk about it so um planning your study sessions listen i'm a i'm a mother of four okay my youngest is about to turn three years okay so it's not easy i'm even now planning on um taking her to a daycare where so she can mingle and learn how to speak well i work full time i work full time mother of four i have a 10 year old i have a 12 year old i have a seven year old and the one who is two and a half years so i'm a very very busy person i i don't buy food outside a lot so i cook i cook I make time on weekends, on my uh, uh, days of work, and then I cook. I'm saying all this so you understand the kind of study session or study plan that I did. So if you fall into that category, I mean, you know that you are not alone. If I did it, or if I was able to do it, you will also be able to do it. It's, it, it, wouldn't, it is hard, but it's doable. It's not easy, but it is what doable. All right, so um, I work full time. I don't know whether I already said that I work full time. I go to school full time, so I was taking classes full time and also studying for the NCLEX as well. Cause I'm I'm in the bachelor's program doing my BSN, so I wanted to get the associate. So I took the exams. I took the boards. So I started studying from January. No, from December last year, 2022, I started studying, and then I also studied in Jan uh, uh, January 2023, and I wrote it on February 2nd, and I passed the next day. All right, so um, categories we have uh, to study, we have the med search, pharmacology, nutrition, fundamentals, pedi pediatrics, maternity, you have ethics, you have delegation, prioritization. If I left anything out, comment down below uh, on, under this video and add it. Okay, we have all this session. How, and it's a lot of information. It's a lot, a lot of information. Now, one thing I also, um, I invested in was buying the uh, flashcards from Level Up RN. Her name is Nurse Kathy. Nurse Kathy. Kathy. Yes. C A T H Y. Level Level Up RN dot com. Level Up RN dot com. If you look in the video description, you will see the name that I'm talking about. I bought her um her all the bundle. I bought all the bundle. And I paid it, um, I, I did a payment plan because I didn't have the money for that. It's very expensive. If you buy all the bundle, it's very, very expensive. 
so i made payment plan through um paypal i have an option to make payment plan through paypal i mean if you have a if there's a good product you want to use for NCLEX, it's worth the um the investment so i i realize it's going to help because i like to take notes but i realize as the time was drawing near I, I may not be able to take notes a lot so i said let me get the steady uh the flash drives and it did come in handy because the lack the last week before i wrote the NCLEX, i couldn't do uh, any more writing my hand was really hurting from all the writing all the notes that i, I had made from a uh, simple nursing that come uh, nurse mike you always say don't let the NCLEX fool you <laughs> don't the, lo, don't let the NCLEX trick you all right so if you want to get the flash flash cards that is a good investment i mean uh she put great content on this flash card that really you know things that content that you should see in your nursing exams and in the NCLEX then she has some a way of you remembering the most important part of the content all right so med search pharmacology like i've said you can learn all this category in one day so this is how i i did it so i would say okay today um using the whole the entire week that's how i i broke it down i have i i i did it weekly so i had a whole week of message and message content is all that i did in a week i study message in one week the following week i pick pediatric and maternity as a matter of fact in january i i i did one week of pediatric one week of maternity yes so in december i did fundamentals i had a whole week of fundamentals now i was watching videos from level up rn videos from simplenursing.com yeah both both of them and i i was also watching videos from um summit college summit college that lady is awesome she has great content uh in on that channel it's a school summit college i have the name in the vi this video description so you can look it up if you can understand my accent all right so this is how i'm just sharing how i study i can't learn in a very noisy environment i don't know about you so if you, you are able to study in a noisy like a very noisy place that's fine if you if you can study with an earpiece with music going on that's fine that's your way of studying i cannot stand any noise no music nothing of that sort i have to have absolute quietness like quiet it has to be very very quiet for me to be able to grasp what i want to learn okay so i like i said a week a whole week of fundamentals the following week i'll do message the following the next week i will do nutrition or pharmacology or pediatric maternity that's how i was doing it okay so if i'm doing this week of message then every day i choose um the topics you know if it's critical care videos i'm watching burns i'm watching hypothermia uh you know septic shock neutropenic i'm watching all those videos in a day now let me come to time how i apportion my time because i'm a busy mother okay i work night shift i work 12 hour shift sometimes three days in a week sometimes i work four days in a week i've i had days that i even work five days in a week call me crazy i'm a workaholic i love to work okay because i love helping people so i always work extra so i can have extra money to help others in africa specifically ghana where i come from okay so that's the reason for my and i also pay my tuition fee. i pay some of my tuition fee out of pocket so in fact as as fafsa 
or the federal loan takes care of bulk of it, the rest come back on me to pay. Okay, so I make payment plan with my university and then I pay out of pocket. So I have to work. So working, I know, like when I come to work, I work in a skilled nursing facility. After I'm done with my med pass, between like two, two and a half hours, I'm done. I use the rest of my quiet, The quiet, when the place is quiet, I go, I, I sit down and then I begin to watch videos. And as I watch the video, if it's a one hour video, one and a half hour video, uh, most times I will watch the video in its entirety. After watching, I will, I will replay it again. Now, when I start replaying, I begin to make notes. This is, this is one of the style I used to work. I used to study. So I watch it first. Try to understand what whatever the concept is. And then I'll do a replay. And sometimes I just watch it once and then I grasp it. But other times you have to rewatch it again. So I can retain what I've watched. You can watch it as many times. You know, as long as, you know, you are getting, you are giving it your attention and everything. You are going to retain it. You are going to retain it. So I make note. What now? Once I make note, I don't forget. So sometimes when I listen, I I forget some of them. Okay, I'm human. I'm a mother. Like I said, I'm a busy person. I have other extra school exams, nursing school exams, and everything going on. Okay, so sometimes I forget the things I watch. But once I make notes, I'm able to go back to my notes. I have a booklet, a book full of notes for the NCLEX. You understand? So once I rewatch, I make notes. I pause it every five minutes and I make notes. Every 10 minutes, I make notes. Every two minutes, I make notes. Okay. So those are some of the ways or that's how I used to, you know, be able to retain the information. It's a lot. So I take it topics by topic, you know, category, message at a time, pharmacology at a time. I don't mix them. I don't study pharmacology a little bit, then go and do a message. I don't do that. I don't mix them. Okay? Because it will get you, you will be confused, and then you don't even know what to study. Don't do it. You know, so divide them. You know, if you want to do two days of message, three days of pediatric, however way you think it can work for you, do that. Divide it and do that. But don't miss them. If you miss them, it can really get confusing to you. It can really, really get confusing. And if you need to rewatch and rewatch, do it. The more you repeat, the more you retain. That's me. I believe it will help you too if you try to do that. Especially difficult concept. If it's a very challenging for me to grasp, sometimes I watch it more than twice. Sometimes I watch it more than twice. Sometimes I watch it more than five times. Just so I will grasp what they are saying. Um, there, there was um, there was this topic in pediatric pediatrics. It, it's about tetralogy of fallow. Tetralogy of fallow. It, it's a three three uh, disorders in the heart for for babies. Okay, blue babies is what all the teachers that I listen to. So it, I I wasn't able to grasp the the names of the, the the disorders that is combined to make tetralogy is four disorders T tetra means four four disorders so it was simple nursing nurse mike who put it in a very the most simplest way because all the teachers they didn't have a way to make it more simple but nurse mike broke it down and gave it an acronym made an acronym for it a mnemonic if pneumonic or mnemonic whatever way you want to call it yes an acronym for it so i was able to remember from there i was even because the way every teacher that i listened to was talking about i thought it was even going to come in my in the questions that i got but none of it came no tetralogy or fallow came however all of them spoke about chest tube you know the the drainage uh the water seal chamber the suction chamber, one of it came. 
the water sim chamber question. One question came from there. So maybe yours, you have the tetralogy of Falo. Yes, I don't know. But um, so I had to watch the video over and over and over. That very session of it. Okay. The more I repeat it, the more I repeat it, the more I was able to grasp that content, that concept. It's a lot. But if you time yourself, I mean, if you break it down, you'll be able to grasp as much as possible. Enough to pass. You won't get it all 100%, but enough for you to what? To pass the end clicks. Okay, so when it comes to the time, how I apportion my time, this is how I did it. Um, I study one hour and then I take a break. I said I study one hour. And then I take what a break because within that one hour, my daughter, she's around. So she, I, I put on the cartoon. <laughs> Thank God for cartoon network. <laughs> I put on baby shark, <laughs> uh, um, Coco Mello. She'll be downstairs. I'll be upstairs. And within an hour block and a tip I'll give you is that when you time yourself that you are studying for one hour, I hide my phone. Because if you are addicted to phone, uh, a friend of mine will say phono phonology. <laughs> if you are addicted to phonology, you are, every second you go and flip your phone. Every, I put the phone, sometimes I have to turn it off or put it complete silent and hide it away from me. Put it inside my bedroom whilst I'm in my studies area by my computer learning so i use my computer time to check the time i make sure i study within that one hour period no interruption okay so you have to time yourself you have to put your phone away any form of distraction you need to uh put it away if you want to put earpiece and listen to some while studying if that helps you do it me i cannot study with any music noise whatsoever I will not retain. That, that's just me. All right. And in that block of study, uh, a great tip I want to give you is that block all worries, all thought process, any other thought, any stress, anything you are planning to do the next two hours, three hours, those future plans, activities, block it all and dedicate that one hour solely for the studies. That's a tip. This is guaranteed to work if you do it. You have to keep practicing to be perfect at this. Yes, I said I'm a mother. I've already told you my busy schedule, but I was able to do it. Another style that I was using when I wasn't able to do the one hour, I jumped into doing um 25 to 30 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes block of studies, okay? After 30 minutes, I take a break. Go grab me water, go eat something, play with my daughter a little bit, you know, do something. I do something just to freshen my mind. And this is, I was doing that when, you know, situations arise and I was getting stressful, I was getting worried. Anything that tried to flip in, I stop learning and then think about whatever that is and then when my mind is ready to come back to learn, I resume. So I was studying 25 to 30 minutes block incrementally. So you can do that for like six times within a day, taking breaks in between. So you, you should be able to have about three hours of studies if you are breaking it down in between. And you will retain. You know, those, the, the set of blo uh, uh, time that you've given yourself, dedicated, not thinking about your phone or anything, whatever you study, you will retain. But if you work a little bit, you know, you study a little bit, go do this a little bit, it's, it's not going to work out. It might work out for some people, but a lot of people, it will not work. You think you are retaining, but it will not. So that would be just a waste of time. So why don't you just dedicate a short period, you know, just to grab something, grab a concept, watch a video, make some notes. And the last part of the, when you know that, okay, I want to end studies, the last 30, two, two 30 minute session, use it to do question banks. 
K, the whole week or the whole day of whatever you have dedicated to study with. Let the last portion be used to. When you are able to do question banks, um, question at least like what I, I love to do is like 100 question a day. I think Ness Mike suggested 75 questions a day, but I I was doing 100 questions a day. Some days I couldn't do the 100. I would do about 60 to 75 because I get bored <laughs> looking at those questions on the screen. I get bored. About, that's why I bought me that yellow and blue uh, book. I, I already spoke about it. That yellow and blue book. You know, NCLEX uh, uh, is exam cram. Exam cram for NCLEX RN practice questions. It has 1,300 questions in it. I couldn't look on the screen to do the questions. So I couldn't utilize the question bank. But I was using that book, you know, and I was doing 100 questions at a time, sometimes 70 questions at a time, 75 questions. But by all means, after you are done studying, do some questions. That way you know whether whatever you learn, <laughs> you know, you retain or you did not retain. Okay, and um, the last part I want to talk about is is that download NCLEX apps. I did download about four of them. Yeah, about four apps. When you go on Google Play Store or on Apple, Apple Store, whatever the name is called for those who use Apple, go there, type in Limping Court Q&A Review NCLEX RN. Lee Pincott, Lee Pincott, Q and A review Enclays Aaron. It's an app. Enclays Aaron. There's an app. Uh, it says Enclays Aaron. It's an app. Enclays Nursing. It's another app. And then Ultimate App Enclays Aaron. It's another app. Uh, this for it really helped me. The days that I was super busy, I couldn't sit down for the 30 minutes or even one hour. As I'm, I'm cooking in the kitchen, I'm <laughs> doing some of these questions on these apps. And the rationale, the reason why I'm telling you to download these apps, the rationales behind when you get the question wrong, the rationales that they give, it, it was a great learning uh, experience for me. I learned a lot. I got a lot of content from their rationales. So download these uh, endless apps and practice those questions there. You know, if you are doing all this, those, it's free. Some of them are free. Some of them are free. Don't go and pay high money for this car plan. I mean, if you have the money, fine. But to me, it's unnecessary. To me, those two are overhyped. You world car plan, they are overhyped. But if you think it's, it's going to help you, but by all means, go for it. All right, so I believe that if you go according to this uh, study plan that I've shared with you, it is guaranteed that you you will retain a lot and you won't know it all, but you'll be able to pass with the, the match <laughs> that you are able to retain. So uh, best of success to all those who are writing this week and this month of March 2023. And even those who be starting the next generation and clicks. May God help you all. I'm rooting for you all. Ask the Lord help me to pass. So he will help you to pass. Just do your part and leave the rest to God. Thanks for watching. Share, subscribe, and let's build this community together. God bless you. I love you all.